Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today what we're going to do is troubleshoot a non-working computer. Okay, this is actually the motherboard that came inside this uh, CPU case and this computer is actually old and uh, it is from my relatives who are having an issue that they are not able to use the computer because it is not powering on. So I tried it earlier and yes, it is not actually powering on. So I tried to uh, remove the motherboard inside the case so we can see it clearly on what is happening with this computer. Okay. So first things first, I'll try to plug in the power supply. Okay, and here we go. Okay, and as you can see, it is already plugged. And as you can see, I hope you can still see it, that there is an LED light, an indicator that there is a power on the motherboard. Okay, what actually happens is when I try to power it on, it is not working. It just... Uh, the fan is uh, spin for a little second and nothing is happening. Even on the monitor, there are no display. And let's try to use a screwdriver to power it on. Okay, uh, try to look at the fan. It will spin for a very short period of time. Okay. And as you can see, nothing is happening. That is actually the power button that uh, is connected to your CPU key. So it is not powering on. Then after that one, I try to power it on again. Okay, it's not working. And if you're observing, there is no beeping sound coming from the motherboard itself. So meaning uh, it can be the motherboard is actually dead or it can be the power supply. So what we can actually do is try to troubleshoot and isolate each item because earlier I also tried to look at the capacitors and there are no bulging uh, capacitor that is affected on this motherboard. So hopefully it's just the power supply. Okay, I'll try to unplug this one. And to actually test a power supply, we can use a paper clip, okay? Just to make sure that it is working or functioning properly. So for now, let's try to remove uh, the cable from this, the four port and this 24 pin. Okay, and getting your paper clip. Okay, for the paper tape, let us just try to uh, straighten this up. Okay, and see. And we're going to remove some of the uh, plastic shielding on this paper clip so we can use the metal to short the power supply to check if it is actually working. Okay, and as you can see, we have removed the plastic shielding from this one and we're going to put the other end on the green wire of this power supply okay there's the green one and the other one should be connected on the block but uh i tried to check on this express when i purchased a new power supply and they told me that they, they also use the green and gray just to check if the power supply is working but for us we're going to use the green and the black just beside the green Cable. Okay. Okay. So right now, let us try to plug this one and see if it is working. Okay, as you can see, the fan is actually not working inside, so meaning the power supply can be defective. Okay, and now let us try to check the new power supply that we purchased if it is working or the fan will automatically turn on when we try to put this pin just to clip the power supply to make it work. Okay, and guys, here is the new power supply that we purchased. This is actually just a cheap power supply. It is actually light compared to this one. This is actually heavy even though it's just 400 watts. While well, this one is 700 watts, okay. But just to make sure, let us try to check if the fan on this one will continuously uh, move or it will power on our computer. Okay, and where is the pin? Okay, and we're going to use the same one, the green pin and the black pin. Okay, and of course, Let's try to check it here. It's uh, there is a power button in here. Okay, and 
Support that one and make sure nothing is connected on the motherboard. And let's try to power it on. Okay, I hope you can see it on the camera and the fan is actually working. So meaning this is a good power supply, it is actually working. So we're going to test it on the motherboard now. Okay guys, and now we're going to remove the power cable so we can plug the 24 pin and the 4 pin on the motherboard. Okay, and remove this one. And okay, and the 4 pin in here. Okay, and of course the power supply again. Put the power supply and power it on. And hopefully we will see a display on the screen when we power on this motherboard. Okay, and here we go. Moment of truth. Okay, the fan is continuously spinning and at the same time, the fan is in here is working and there is actually a boot on the monitor. So for now, there is no actually a hard disk that is actually connected so we won't boot to the OS. But fortunately enough, we are able to boot this motherboard and hopefully everything else will work as well. And I hope you learned something from this video for the troubleshooting if there is no boot on your computer. Hopefully guys, you like the video and if you do, please hit that like button and subscribe button. And if you want me to do other troubleshooting steps, comment down below or if you have question and suggestion, comment down below as well. And thanks for watching guys. Have a great day. Stay safe and bye.